So welcome to another Facebook Live. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the TRS-6, the Tilt Rotate System, on the next gen 305 that's just gone into production. We're going to be showing some of the sort of the basic applications you can use the TRS with. So talking about its flexibility and its functionality. But we're also going to be looking at the versatility of the machine and tool attachment itself. So what we got here, we've got a pin grabber top. We've got an S-type bucket on the bottom. We've got a uh, grapple on the TRS, and we have a thumb up here on the machine. Now, a lot of people say, well, how, how does this all work? A thumb doesn't work with the TRS. You're absolutely right. This thumb does not work with the TRS. But we're gonna run through some of the scenarios to show you how you get the best and most versatility out of a next-gen mini hydraulic excavator while using either a TRS-6 or a TRS-8. So without further ado, let's jump up into the machine and uh, let's start to rock and roll and get some things happening. So three points of contact up into the machine, seatbelt on, and we're gonna start up. So with the TRS, you've got 360 degrees of rotation. You can continually go in one direction, you can go back in the other direction. And then you've got 40 degrees of tilt from side to side. And then you've got control for that grapple. We're going to talk more about the grapple later, but for right now I'm just going to put the grapple in. So we've got a block there laying on the ground. I'm just gonna show you the sort of different positions and shapes you can get into with this TRS. So if I was trying to grade around a pipe, junction box, you know, you could reach across and this allows you to grade in one direction. Allows me then to come down and grade down this side. Allows me to come up, go down the other side. And then coming around. in front of the machine. Now, not doing this absolutely perfectly, I'm just giving you an idea of, of how this works and how you can sort of shape and go around things. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to get used to. A lot of different joysticks, a lot of buttons and controls on here that you have to get used to. I'd say, you know, two or three days in the seat, get used to all the buttons and controls on, putting them all together, and you'll become pretty proficient at operating. Now, using a bucket like this, a Nordic style bucket, do a lot of design and build. And uh, so, you know, if you was doing sort of V trenches, uh, drainage ditches, you know, this allows you to sort of pull that through into a V trench. Now you take the material out and turn the bucket around. Then you can swing around, do the V. Then if you can get some uh, material here in the bucket, then if you can imagine if you had a backfill material or you had a say some concrete and this allows you to pour out of the corner of the bucket so if you was doing some form work basically allows you to pour into one place and of course you can stop it and you go over to the other direction as well. You could pour in that way as well. Now, if the material is a little bit heavier, 
What you got on here as well, you can hold this button and then you got a shake function. So this is some, some of the functionality of using one of these Nordic style buckets. And of course you can also drop the bucket off. Got a number of different shaped buckets that you can use on here. So we're just gonna drop this bucket off using our hydraulic coupler. Unlock the wedge there at the back. Drop off that bucket. The reason why I'm dropping off the bucket, now I could change buckets, but when you use the grapple portion, gives you a lot better visibility about to see the grapple. So I'm just gonna come across here, plastic pipe, concrete pipe. You can adjust the sensitivity of the grapple and go ahead and get a hold of that pipe. I can pick that pipe up, you know, if I wanted. If this was a flagpole, if I was at a trade show, I'm putting up a flagpole. I can place my flagpole perfectly. But then a lot of times you're going to be doing pipe work laying. And this allows me to position my pipe and lay it right down there in the trench. Now, as well as pipe work, um, once again, construction beams, materials. Just going to get nice and squarely onto this. and you can delicately put it into place. Make sure it's there. Okay, so you can even place your pipe work, but you know, might be a little bit dangerous just to leave it there. So we will uh, just uh, plop that one down. Okay, so that has shown you some of the versatility of the TRS-6 on the next gen 305. Now let's look at some of the versatility of the actual machine itself. So we're just going to rest the tool down on there. We're going to switch the engine off. We're going to turn the engine back on. We're going to start shaking out some of the hydraulic controls. We've taken the pressure off of those QDs. Ty's coming in. The first thing he's going to do is start swapping over the electrics. So we have two couplers. We have the TRS coupler and we have the machine coupler. So up to this point, we've been using the TRS coupler. So we're now swapping over to the, uh, off the TRS coupler over to the machine coupler. So we do this on purpose out at the stick. So we physically know we're swapping couplers. And so we're gonna to go to the machine coupler he swaps over the two electrics and then he takes off the auxiliaries. And we bring those around to the front so they don't foul up on the machine. And the next thing that Ty needs to do is to turn the thumb back on. So he's got a diverter valve on the side here. So you've got to make sure you do both sides. So he comes this side, he turns the other side and I will hop back up into the machine. Start back up. So now we've gone from the TRS coupler We've gone over to the machine coupler, still the same place in the monitor. So we're going to unlock the wedge. We're now on the door lock side. And we can now fold out of that. We're going to unlock the front. Swing across to our original bucket from this machine, which is a 24 inch heavy duty bucket using our door lock coupler. We'll come on to that bucket. Pick up on the front latch, roll over to the wedge, 
lock the wedge and as always go ahead and check it we're good so why the grapple was great at picking up uh, pipe and that steel i-beam structure uh, that grapple would be no good for handling debris like this so concrete wires you still sometimes need a conventional thumb to be able to work with so we've uh, got that ability so if you're going to handle concrete or for handling things like this stump you know the grapple is good but it wouldn't hold anything like this so you know when you're going to hold stuff like this this is the sort of type of machine that you need you don't want to be doing this with the trs system for sure so we can get that stump out of the way. And then of course, if you want to go back to the TRS system, it is as quick as this. Unlock your original bucket. Come back to your head. Going to back the machine up a little bit to come away from it it's always a good idea not to get too close to your target sort of better further away so we hear that clip go on to the front we'll just lift up a little bit start the roll over lock the wedge and once we get the bucket on we will check that that's okay because once the thumb is locked off, I can then bleed off the pressure. So you leave the engine running through this piece. So you're now going to go the opposite direction on the two diverter valves. Make sure you do both sides of the machine. People often get caught out by doing one side and not the other. So now I can switch the engine off. Switch the engine back on. Take the pressure off the QDs. Swap over those couplers. So you're now going back from the machine coupler back to the TRS coupler. So I can go ahead and attach a bucket as soon as he's got the QDs on. We got one QD on. I'll just come across, help him out. Put the second QD on. And there you have it. We have just put the TRS back on this machine in less than two minutes. We took it off in less than two minutes. You got full versatility of TRS-6 on the next gen 305, all these different functions that you can use it for. And then you can go back to a conventional machine, handling your concrete, debris, scrap metal with your normal thumb and bucket. Uh, you've got great versatility between the tool and machine. And that's how the partnership between the MHE product group and the CAT attachment team works together to give options for our customers out there get more done in less time to be more efficient in doing what you do hope you've enjoyed this facebook live session looking at the trs6 and the next gen 305 see you again